Right now at Upper Marlboro, about 50 people don't have water. A water made break early this morning is to blame, and it caused a huge sinkhole that someone drove into. Oh, no. Yeah. Our Colby Satterfield is live near the Osborne Shopping Center. Is the car in the sinkhole? And I guess most importantly, is the driver okay? The driver is okay and the car is out of the sinkhole. It just got pulled out in the last 30 minutes or so. And take a look, guys, at where exactly this car was and how deep this sinkhole was. Took a tow truck to get it out. It was submerged in water down here since early this morning. They had to pump the water out. You can see how deep it is before they could again get the tow truck in here and lift it out. Now they're clearing all this out so they can actually fix the root of the problem here. So let's talk exactly now about how this happened. A spokesperson for Washington Suburban Sanitary Commission says a man drove past the closed road sign and cones and drove into the sinkhole, sinkhole filled with water. Police say that driver was able to escape the car with only minor injuries. WSSC. All right, it looks like we may have lost Colby, but you can see there the car that drove into the sinkhole has been raised. It's out of there. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, the driver is going to be okay. And I tell you what, with this dangerous heat and the, the rain that we've had and the storms, the you know, sinkholes are definitely a possibility. So we got to be careful out there.